Hey folks, Sheldon from the Outlaw Speed Shop and uh, just doing a, a final video on the 1950 Chevy Roadster pickup. Um, it was uh, inspired by a, a, a illustration by Jarvis Watson and so but I've been working on it for a week and uh, everything everything uh, everything came out good. I had a you know a couple little 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 things here and there that you know like you always have but overall everything everything went real good the the fabrication and everything went good uh you know the body stuff everything just just w was you know not a problem so it's got a little it's got a little mexican blanket in there on the seat um, still needs a steering wheel. Um, I don't. I couldn't find anything that I was happy with. So, so Rich hopefully can find something that that he'll like. And uh, so I mean I used the body and the the, the bed from the kit, the grill, um, and the wheels and tires are are uh, ones that I made. Uh, they're resin. They're they're uh, from the uh, Model A Coupe and Roadster, except for they do have the um, white walls, which are are, are uh, separate. So uh, makes it a lot easier to do white walls that way. Um, the engine, 409. Uh, it's got a Power Glide, uh, two two carbs on there, like the picture. Um, that's all resin. Um, I put some uh, pulleys on it with a fan belt, and really, that's that's really about it. I mean, there's not a whole lot to say. Um, you know, there's pictures in there, and I don't know why I'm getting such a such a uh, kind of a shadow on this one side. But anyway, we got the little license plate on there and the tail light. Anyway, there it is over there on that side and everything you know the the welded door thing was was kind of a challenge I wasn't really sure how how to go about it so I just did the best I the best I could and let's go around to the front it's got a pretty good look from the it's got a pretty good look from the front there so anyway that's all there is to it and uh, I hope you enjoyed the other videos and uh, hit the like button, subscribe button. Oh, and I do have one, one, one more thing to say. Um, I got this question asked and how do I, how do I ship my models? I wrap them in for, well, I wrap them like, I don't know, 10 layers of toilet paper each way, end to end, side to side. And then I just get a, a, a uh, you know, pretty good sized piece of bubble wrap, the small bubble wrap, not the big, not the big stuff. And I, you know, kind of fold it, fold it up, fold it over, lay the ends in and out. And then I run a piece of masking tape around the uh, end ways and around the side. And I, um, the best thing for uh, shipping, and this is for anything uh, material, is newspaper. So I put some new, you know, I crumple up some newspaper and I put it down in there and I get it all, you know, snug as a bug in the rug with the newspaper all around it. And after, you know, sending out 150 plus, you know, cars, um, I haven't, you know, once in a while there'll be a piece knocked off or something come loose or whatever. But I mean, I mean, it's been, uh, 99% every time so that's uh that's always worked good for me and so that's what I've been using for a long long time and you know no reason to change so thanks everybody uh if you have any comments leave them behind or leave them below and uh, hit the like button subscribe if you're not if you're new to the channel thanks for for uh for, for coming we'll catch y'all later